tum tat jam tat nam tat din ke nat tum tat din ke nat tum tat din ke nat tum hari ma ga ri sa ma pa da sa da pa ma ma ga re ma pa da sa ri ma ga ri sa da sa da pa ma ma pa ma pa da di ta ga di mi ta ga ja ni ta ga di These three will follow the next three days, this is arranged in this way because it's after all from the earth that we arise and we could live an active life which is rajas, the second nature of the Devi. The third one may come your way or may not. If you have to bring her down into you, you have to strive, otherwise uh, she will not get down to you. So tamas is the nature of the earth, of your birth. The moment you come out, then you start activity, rajas begins. If you are aware enough or fortunate enough, Sattva will touch you, otherwise the color of rajas, it's good as long as the going is good. When the going gets bad, rajas is going to be super bad. You're sitting on the earth, you must just learn to simply be one with her. You're anyway part of her, only when she wishes she throws you out. When she wishes, she sucks you back. So what was absolute inertia now has become a dynamic rajas. This may transcend or may again go back to the same thing. Durga Lakshmi, Durga Lakshmi, Durga Lakshmi… Durga Lakshmi out of one run. <laughs> Durga Lakshmi, Durga Lakshmi, Saraswati never happened. That means you are in the cycle, you are in the trap of life and death, life and death, life and death. Transcendence is yet to come. So these two will anyway happen. What is in a state of inertia will get into a state of rajas and activity and again fall back and become inertia for a certain period of time and again get back into activity. This is happening to you as an individual, this is happening to the planet, this is happening to the galaxy, this is happening to the whole cosmos. It goes into a state of inertia and then becomes dynamic and again goes into a state of inertia. But 
The important thing is, this one has the capability to break the cycle and transcend. So these three dimensions of the Devi are enshrined in the form of Bhairavi or Linga Bhairavi. So these three days, you must be able to draw these three dimensions, dimensions of existence and sustenance for yourself because you need all these three. The first two are needed for your survival and well-being. The third is an aspiration to go beyond. Above all, to approach every aspect of life in a celebratory way, this is most important. If you approach everything in a celebratory way, you learn to be non-serious about life but absolutely involved. The problem with most human beings right now is, if they think something is important, they will become dead serious about it. If they think it is not so important, they will become lax about it, they don't show the necessary involvement. That's not it. The passage, the secret, of life is in this, this, seeing everything with a non-serious eye but absolutely involved, like a game. That's the reason most profound aspects of life are approached in a celebratory way so that you don't miss the point. If you're serious, our rumba serious air kranga nenartho, Arthapadi, <laughs> you know in Tamil language or even in English probably, he's in a very serious condition means <laughs> next step you know where. <laughs> and lot of people are in a serious condition. There's only one thing that's going to happen to them which is of any significance, rest will bypass them because anything that they think is not serious, they are unable to show involvement and dedication towards that. That's the whole problem. 